Hello guys, today's video is all about problem solving. Since I got my new bike hauler vehicle, uh, I have had to fit a new bike rack, which means, unfortunately, that it cannot be used with my bike bottle cage that is already fitted onto my bike, or was fitted on there. I've had to remove it, so my bike will fit on the bike rack. So I've been looking for a different solution, and I've come across this. It is called a Fidlock bottle system, which is magnetic, and looks to be a great bit of kit. So I'm gonna be fitting that now and uh, letting you know what I think of it after a few rides and see how we get on with it. But it's looking good so far. So basically my new bike rack on my, uh, on my car clamps here, uh, which is no good, obviously, if there's a bottle cage there, because uh, yeah, it just doesn't work. So I needed a different solution. Uh, this is magnetic and low profile, uh, so you don't have a big bottle cage left behind, so I'm going to fit it and see how we get on. They, you do have to remove the original bolts. It does actually ship with its own little uh, low profile bolts here, uh, so it's not protruding. It doesn't get in the way of the bottle once fitted. So I'm going to be doing that right now. Okay, so with the old bottle cage removed, uh, it's now time to fit the new little mount, which looks just like this. Okay, it is very important that you uh, fit it with this top part facing the front of the bike, uh, basically due to the polarity of the magnets. Uh, if you've got it the other way around, it won't work. It just rejects it. No can do. All good. Right, let's get this fitted. Okay, that is it, all fitted. Okay, as you can see, it's very, very low profile against the frame and uh, the magnets are very effective. All you have to do is put it somewhere near it and it's on. And it ain't coming off unless you twist it. So uh, next up, we're gonna see how it gets on on the trail. But the good news is it looks like my, uh, my new bike rack will definitely be able to clamp onto that. All good. Just look how effective the magnets are. Okay, so I'm just out on a general evening bike ride, both on and off road. Nothing hectic off road today, just fire roads really. But uh, pleased to announce that I'm using my new bottle. And so far, it has not fallen off. Okay, today we are back at Cookworthy Forest and uh, we're doing another little test of this Fidlock bottle uh, to see if I can shake it off. Doing a little bit more off-road terrain today. It's quite bumpy here. Uh, so uh, off-road, particularly in the wood, woody parts. So I'm just gonna have a go and see if I can make this thing come off. <laughs> see how good the, the hold is of these magnets. Good news. Well, I've given it a thorough shake down off-road. No can do, I cannot get this ball to come off. All good. I'm getting a shift on because it's raining. Okay, so I've been using this Fidlock bottle system now for a few days and uh, putting it through its paces just to see how good it is really. Um, I have to say, this thing is rock solid. No matter what I've tried, I can't get this thing to shake off. So I think you will be uh, pretty uh, impressed with this. It is a very, very solid system. And you can see just how easy it clicks on there. Um, it was a lot of money. This system cost about 30 quid, but this uh, was the only option I had on my bike to allow me to use my new cycle rack, uh, which infringes with my old bottle cage. This is where it clamps on here. Uh, so I did need a low profile system that would allow me to use my new rack. So this really fits the bill and is the only system I could find that, uh, that would do the job. I don't know if there's like third party like copycats of this. I don't know, I'll have to look it up, but uh, I am so far very impressed with this. It is rock steady. Um, however, I purchased this smaller bottle because I thought that the larger bottle wouldn't fit onto my frame here. Um, in hindsight, I could have gone probably for the biggest bottle because that actually is smaller milliliter wise than my old bottle that I used to use with my bottle cage. Um, and that in itself presents uh, a few problems here. One, the reach to reach the, to the bottle is further because I've got to reach further down onto the bike before I touch the lid of the uh, thing, which I'm gonna be honest with you, really hurts my balls when I've got my saddle up. 
Um, I mean, who wants to stop and have a drink? You really want to be able to do it on the fly. Um, and it was giving me a little bit of grief, bending over so much to grab it, that I was squishing me ball sack. Uh, so that wasn't particularly pleasant. However, I have sort of developed a knack to get around that. And in hindsight, I would have bought a bigger bottle because it would have fitted. Uh, so that's my problem rather than a problem with the, uh, with the uh, system itself. Now, the only other thing, criticism wise, that I can come up with is it does actually come with a lid. Uh, okay, which just clips on there basically to, to keep it uh, clean basically from dirt. However, I have managed for 30 plus years of bike riding uh, without a lid on my thing and I've never had an issue. So that has gone in favour of ease of access. Uh, another reason I'll say that when this uh, lid is fitted, when you've got the, uh, when you've basically grabbed hold of the bottle on your bike uh, and you want to have a quick sip before you need both hands on the handlebar again, once you've grabbed it, flicked it open held it open so it doesn't flap in your face and had a drink you then got to flip it closed and then bang it back on the bike it just takes ages so i've basically taken that off uh grab drink and bang it's straight back on there uh solid as a rock so if you can justify the expense of this system you can get bigger bottles which are about, they're about 35 quid something like that with the base and the mechanism you can buy spare bottles and stuff so you don't have to uh, go to the outlay of buying the base again each time um but if you can uh, you know if you can justify it i had to justify it because it's the only way i could have a bottle with my uh, new bike rack then i would definitely suggest uh, you know definitely worth the investment um it really is a nicely made product so there you go fidlock should you buy one Yes, if you can afford it or justify the expense. Oh, my balls. Light it up and we smoke. Keep me high.